Hey everybody, welcome back to Theme Park Build. So in part 1, I built the ferris wheel. In part 2, we laid down some paths, so the only thing left to do now is to start adding some buildings, which, if you can guess by the title of this video, is what I'm going to be doing today. Before I get to building the bathrooms though, I need to build the fountain. And before I build the fountain, I need to show you how I've changed the flower boxes. Last episode, I said the grass would look weird in these flower boxes, so I didn't even bother trying it. Someone left a comment saying I should try it, so I was like, you know what? Let me see what it looks like, and I think it looks better now because it's a different color. I mean, the ground, the path is brown, and the dirt was brown, and the bench is brown, or the bench slash flower boxes, they can double as both. It's all brown. So the little bit of green in there is just a different color and makes it look better, I think. Also, Catherine came on the server, and she was the one who added the slabs on top of the logs, and it just, it adds more detail to the flower boxes and, again, makes it look better. So now onto the fountain, and just like with most of the circles I've used in this series, the ferris wheel, this path here, the circle, and now the fountain, there's no reason as to why I picked this size other than I think it's big enough. One thing I was worried about was too much cobblestone. I like making my fountains out of cobblestone, but it could be an eyesore if there's too much of it. This entire fountain is made out of cobblestone, and I think what works is the fact that I changed the path. I would have usually made the path gray, like the stone bricks, but now that I've made it brown, the fountain looks alright on top of it. Also, when the water gets added, it'll help with hiding some of the cobblestone. With the fountain done, it's time to work on the bathrooms, and for some reason, I started with the floor. I don't know why I did this, I think it's because I wanted to get a pattern laid out, but I never start building with a floor. Usually I get walls up to see how big I want the building, but no, I started with the floor. I'm starting with the men's room first because what I'm going to do is pretty much just copy and paste it for the woman's bathroom and then delete the urinals, and it's a lot easier to get rid of urinals than it would be to get rid of giant stalls and put urinals in. The other difference between the two, besides the urinals, is the color, and for the men's room I wanted blue, however, blue stained clay looks kind of purplish, which you can see right here, I'm pretty sure that's light blue stained clay, but the wool and like lapis lazuli blocks, they just look way too blue. So it works, I would have liked it to be a little more blue, but you work with what you got, it's Minecraft. This cutout here is going to be for sinks and counters, and what's good about Minecraft is you really have two choices for sinks. One is a cauldron, and the other is a hopper, and with the cauldron you can put water in it to make it look like the sink's full, but I think the hopper looks more like a sink, so that's what I went with. And then I put levers on the countertop to act as a faucet. I would have liked to use the, um, 
what are they? The, the tripwire things, that's what they are. Because their shape is more faucet-y, but they don't go on flat surfaces. And I wasn't going to put a block on top of the counter right in front of the sink because I wanted to put a mirror up and I didn't want a block being in the way of that. Now that enough of the walls are in place, I can move on to the stalls. These toilets are literally just two stairs with a block on top of the back stairs, a lever on the side, and a weighted pressure plate for a toilet seat. The rest of the space in the bathroom will be used for urinals. I spent way more time than I should have trying to come up with a design for this urinal. And at the end of the day, it's just simply two stairs with a lever on the top. Minecraft is not urinal friendly, and it's really the best I can do at this point in Minecraft. <laughs> I'm adding the blue stripe around the bathroom as a way to tell the male bathroom apart from the female bathroom. Plus it adds a little more color to a very, very white bathroom. When I finished the one side of the bathroom, I copied it and pasted it over to the other side, and I screwed up a little bit as you can see by the roof not lining up. Also on the inside, I managed to copy and paste a nice chunk of grass and get rid of some of the flooring. So you gotta be a little bit careful when you're using World Edit because you can screw up pretty easily. Finishing up the roof, I can now go and finish the front of the building as well now that I know exactly where everything is supposed to line up. Another important part of the bathroom is the divider in the front to prevent people from looking directly into the bathroom as you're doing your business. Here you're going to notice I turned my shaders off inside the bathroom and that's so you can actually see. The problem with shaders is they look great except when it comes to nighttime and I think it's more of a mood thing and dark is really dark and light doesn't light up that much so in order for you to see what I'm doing I turn the shaders off.
These bathroom lights are just some sea lanterns surrounded by stairs. The stairs give it a little more detail. And then I went and used dispensers for garbage cans and then an iron trap door and a lever for a baby changing station. In order to make some toilet paper, you throw a button on a wall, put an item frame on top of that button, and then put some wool inside the item frame, and it looks like some pretty good toilet paper, and then on the wall I also added a coat hanger. Now that the men's room is done, I can copy and paste it for the woman's bathroom. And I'm putting it on the other side of the path because these bathrooms are a lot bigger than I thought they would be And I still want to put the ferris wheel back over in this general area and bathrooms right next to each other like that would take up way too much room Thanks to world edit with one quick command. I can change all of the blue clay into red clay And right here you can see what I mean by it. it's a lot easier to get rid of these urinals Because all I had to do was copy those three stalls paste them on the other side and then that was it Other than changing the lights the woman's bathroom is done and there you have it, a fountain and bathrooms for both male and female. There's still a lot of cleaning up to do though, like paths to the bathrooms, I want to get more benches like I said before, bring the park map in front of the fountain, and a lot of little things like that. My plan for next episode is to have on the side where the men's bathroom is, is a path next to the men's room, then put the ferris wheel back in. That path though is going to be leading back to what I want to be a roller coaster. So next episode, look forward to it. I'm probably going to be making a wooden roller coaster and it should be really cool. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and a favorite if you enjoyed. That help out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next time.